Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of ARK. I'm Kevin, bringing back to you the Redemption server that we're playing on. It's an ACA Redemption mod. It is actually a really difficult mod, but it's a lot of fun at the same time. Um, I do have quite a few other dinos here that I've kind of tamed out just to be most of all the harvesting and more useful dinos. Just because that's what you need when you start out on ARC. You need to try to build up your base, do stuff. Now, I haven't really been sure what I want to even do for a base. But I think I kind of got the idea, finally. So I've just kind of been throwing stuff in here, making it work. But I kind of need to uh, demolish a few things and work on a bit. Now, I know that it's maybe not the most exciting in the world or the greatest for some people to watch, which is the, you know, building type episodes. <clears throat> but I really enjoy the building aspects of all games. I guess that's kind of what probably draws me to Roke quite a bit, is it just has so much that's involved with the building and, you know, crafting part of it. I really do enjoy that. One of the things that's really going to help us, though, is we do have the S Plus mod on here. And with the S Plus comes this fancy dancy demo gun. So we have all these gates, which I want to get rid of first of all, so we can just shoot them as quick as possible. Boom, they're gone. Next, we work on the frames. Boom, they're gone. So it definitely won't take very long. I mean, obviously placing everything takes a lot longer, but this is a huge part of it, is trying to pick up all these resources and try to keep them. You know, we're going to lose some in the process. Hopefully we don't lose all of them. But I just want to build this out a little bit more. I really... Oh, okay, we still move the fabricator in our inventory. That's cool. I was like, oops, we just picked up one thing I didn't want to pick up. But it doesn't seem to be affecting us too much. It'd be cool if you could pick up a dino this way. And just shoot it. Click. Got it. Now, I do not want to pick up some of this stuff. So I'm trying. Whoa, a little lag there. We do have a little bit of lag every now and again that happens just because of the dinos that are on here and a lot of the harvesting. And with the AC Redemption mod, I want to show you guys this real quick. This is the bench that you use to do it. And it has all sorts of saddles, all sorts of stuff. Now, we have all these alphas that are in here. And to tame these, they have really, really high torpor. Really high torpor. And so what we need is specialty arrows, and part of this mod are these specialty arrows. Like here's what they call a black arrow. It takes one black narcotic to do a black arrow, and each black narcotic is 500 regular narcotics. And then it goes down from there to like 250, 100, and so on. Just, just so you know, it's expensive. That's, that's really all you need to know. So it does take a lot out of, you know, us, a lot of time for us to harvest all those materials, create these high-level tranks, but they are needed greatly. If we didn't have them, it wouldn't be possible to do a lot of the taming and a lot that we need to do. So thank you guys for coming to check out the channel. You know, if you guys do have any questions or things you'd like to see, let me know. I do see the chat here. I will be following up on it. But, you know, I just want to get going on some stuff here. I don't have maybe the greatest plan, but I, what I want to do is just, I know it's going to be a little bit more dangerous to leave the base this way, but I kind of want to leave it open. Yes, I kind of want to leave it open, but I mostly just want a couple different things. I want a big kind of wall in the back, and I'm thinking of doing ramps. It'll slope up. And then I want just kind of walls on the side and a wall on the side and a wall in the back. And then that way, we don't have to really worry about stuff getting in and up and over the top. And we don't have to worry about really dealing with getting in and out of the base too well. It'll be easy because it'll be just a huge opening in the front. So I think it's going to turn out pretty nice. I'm just going to break these because I just want to do it easier, simpler. All right. So this is what we got to work with. 
I also don't really like building in direct boxes, so we'll probably add a little shape to follow along here. I see we're a little bit in the ground, which is not the greatest for building. I don't know, it'd almost be worthwhile to tear up a bit of this or build out a little different, but I'm not too worried about it. We almost have all the tools. You know, I do like a little bit bigger of a base just so I can bring in my harvesting dinos into the base and get them up next to a machine, drop stuff off. We do have the S plus so you can pull with it. If you hit E and hold on it, you can see the pull option, pull resources, and then it brings up the bar. You can select what you want to select and then pull it from around the location. And if you look at the pull distance, if you actually hold on this and you click the pull range, hold E, it'll show the pull range. It's quite big. So in some ways we don't even need to, but I just want to give the availability that if I need to get in here, or if I want to hide like a Terra in here, I can do it. It's just nice and simple. So let's pull up some of these. I'm probably going to change this a little bit. You know, I'm already thinking that foundations, we're going to need more. Probably a fair amount more. I like to build pretty big. It's just life of it. And we have tons of resources, so I'm not concerned about wasting resources or do I need to try to build small we just want to build and get it all going and done, and then we can worry about everything else. Because there's a lot of cool dinos to tame out there. Not that stego. I mean, maybe a really, really cool stego would be cool, but... I mean, we have these spirit walkers. These are juggernaut. So this is a juggernaut Quetzal. Here's a juggernaut Bronto. And we're already getting a little bit of hate mail from people if they say that we go out with our uh, juggernaut Bronto and harvest, that they're going to permanently like kill us or ban us from the server but you know we need the narcotics if you look over here you'll see that i'm crafting as many narcotics as possible this may look like a lot but as i said 500 per one narcotic so it it'll disappear very quickly so let's see if we have our foundations and get going here whoop there's some rubber banding that's what happens when people harvest so we'll deal with it. We'll live with it. It's just gonna gonna be life. Where are you? Foundations here. They are. So I've never built like this before. It's definitely something that I've never tried. It just kind of came to me as an idea, and I thought, you know, that sounds kind of interesting. I wouldn't mind trying that out and just playing with it. So we're gonna go for it. Hmm. Not sure how I want to do this. I wouldn't mind actually trying to like build up a touch so you can stack these. It'd be kind of interesting to do the side where it stacks up and then we can go off of that. In this area though, it's already kind of blocked. We're kind of messed up with everything. Hold on here, I got some text messages or something coming on the phone like crazy. It's my wife contributing the the epidemic much huh <laughs> contributing the the epidemic much i don't even get what that means opioid epidemic opioid i don't get what you're talking about oh the narcotics yes we're our life in our arc has become a drug dealer that's what we're looking for <sighs> weirdo let me play my game you can do what you want to do over there yeah, I know. She's a nurse, so she's like, well, it's just what my life is all about, that sort of stuff. Okay, I get it. All right. I just want to expand this out a little bit. We have ramps. We'll build more ramps to make that kind of a little bit easier. I don't think we need all this room, but I kind of think that it just needs to be maybe a little bit not as deep. Just quite wide would be nice. So we'll try this. This is my favorite guy here. This Mantis is amazing for harvesting, doing everything we need to do really fast with a good run speed. Harvest just about everything really well. So this is what I've been able to harvest all of our stone, all of our wood, all of our metal with. It is kind of like the jack of all trades for a dinosaur in our for harvesting. And super fast, which makes it so nimble and nice. I was thinking, and I usually like Doeds and everything else, but if you do play the ACA Redemption mod, definitely get yourself a Mantis, or if you play any other mod that has them on it, 
I highly recommend you just go with that because I don't think anything could beat it for harvesting. So much better. This is a DNA replicator. We'll get into that in a little bit. That's how you actually tame the narcissus or any alpha. So we will hopefully be using that a little bit later in this episode because I want to tame something. I don't know what to tame yet. I would like to look for another mantis. We had one that was a really good level. And here's, I guess, let's let's go into it now. I'm getting off topic, I know. But all of a sudden I saw something that I was curious about and heard about it. And I wanted to tell you guys so you'd be informed better. So with this mod and the replicator, you go out, you knock out a mantis or other alpha. And on it will be a couple different things. Usually this will be on it, possibly. This is a blueprint to upgrade your mantis and involve it from an alpha to the next stage dino. So it's really neat to actually be able to upgrade it. Um, the other thing that will possibly be available for you to do with it is just to get some weird mutations and stuff. Now, this one did not end up with any mutations, unfortunately. It came out as just kind of a lower level, and that's why I'm looking for a higher level. But a lot of the higher level ones, they get mutated, and they get just really amazing stats. They'll come out like two or three times better than what the base ones are. So it's just something where if we could get that to happen, we would certainly like that to happen. It would be uh, awesome. <laughs> So I did have one originally that was mutated and I was going to tame it out and everything was looking good. And then through some server crashes, I ended up losing that dino to uh, just, it didn't tame out. And so I still then later tried to redo it and it came out at a really low level, which was just horrible because it was an amazing level. It originally tamed out and if you look at my log, you can see it here. Um, where is it? Here it is. We tamed an alpha mantis that came a 1267. That's what we got. That was my original try of getting a mantis, and it was amazing. But then for some reason, after the server lag, it came back, and it was a wild mantis, and it destroyed stuff, and it killed us. But we tried to tame it again, and then it came out to be just a level 600 mantis. So we got a mantis that was half the levels plus some of what originally was going to appear. I, it's sad for me, at least. I know, you guys are maybe going, so what? Well, you know, that's what this game's all about. It's collecting the biggest, the best, sort of stuff like that. So having the opportunity would have been amazing. Um, It's looking pretty big. Pretty darn big. As I said, I don't really need it to be, you know, huge front to back. I just need it to be wide like this, and it'll be neat. I hope. I really don't know. We're going to see, though. Let's see. Do we have some more foundations? Let's make a few more. I don't think I'm going to need a ton. I have tons of resources. Let's just do 50 in here. I'm not going to place probably all 50. I mean... I definitely could. We could get close and all of a sudden it's going, okay, we need a place more. But hopeful that we won't. At the same time, let's craft walls pieces. Let's just craft 100. I don't know what I'll need, but I just wanted to start crafting. And then, is this one available? Whoops. This one does not have the stuff in it. This one I've just kind of been keeping as an extra just for stuff, mostly. Not really the building. This one's got all the stuff in it for building, the thatch, the wood, all that sort of stuff in it. This one's just more of a more of a higher-end storage box, really. Whoops. Ooh, that was kind of weird. So, hmm. Hmm, Rex. We don't really need a Rex. So this is probably an Exalted. That's what we can upgrade our Mantis to. That is something we're going to do in this episode. So to do it, let me just show you what it takes. We have got to go get the Alpha Raptor DNA. So we need to go get 
the alpha raptor DNA, and then we need 30 alpha hearts. And then we craft it in this inventory, the actual upgrade. So it'll be kind of interesting to see what our stats change to. Before I do it to this one, though, I kind of want to go look and see if I can maybe find another better one. Just because uh, that one's not great, or this one's not great but it's not bad. It would just be nice to have a really good level one to really start out with on our first go around. Oops. There we go. Dropping the hole. All right, let's just try to get this evened out. I'm not too worried about that little edge there. So with all my bases, I like them to be about four high. So that's overall the goal. Ooh, we might have to place one down in the ground here first. No, still is fine. It's kind of amazing. It's floating. So we'll start at the back doing a four high wall. Oh, come on, get off me. Let's place you over here. There we go. The ramps will work here for everything. We'll place around. I don't know what I want to do with this spot really don't know we might just add like another parking area for something i don't know we'll see but let's go ahead and start with our walls i want to just yeah we could leave the open walls like this or just get tear them down let's pop out the air conditioner and pop out these oh we're breaking walls breaking walls Maybe not exactly the best way to do it, but it works. Grab that one. I do not want to pick up some things. The reason why I don't really want to have the windowed walls in there is because if a dinosaur sees your dinosaur or something else inside that wall, it is very likely going to come in there and start trying to wreck it and get at it. And we don't want that to happen. We kind of want our base to stay in one piece. So we're going to start off with not having the window walls there. And not have to worry about that issue. It would not be fun. I'm sure you've seen bases of other people that get wrecked. And a lot of the times it's because they do window walls. And they don't really pay attention to some of those key little things. That would make life simple. Oh, I do want to build over further, but at the same point, I'm just going to be in the ground pretty far. You guys don't care? Uh, I kind of don't either. Let's try to do it. We'll just see how this goes. Get rid of this. If you're holding the pickup gun, it makes it very hard to place stuff. Four there. Okay, now... So this is where it comes difficult. So we need to go one there, one there, one there, and then we go like one there. We just kind of hope it's in the right spot, which it looked like it was. Okay. Okay. And okay. So there we go. The only problem is here for our stations, a lot of them have to be set actually on foundations and this does not classify as a foundation because it's just barely above ground level so we won't be able to place some stuff there but th some other things like storage boxes they can be placed in any of those areas and they don't really get bothered by that so don't have to worry about that too much hopefully we have lots of walls getting ready because what we got to do since we're going to do a ramp system we have to put up a lot of walls and they kind of got to be sloped slowly. I haven't done this before. So something that's kind of going to be new to me. So we're just going to have to play with it a little bit. Let's just start here with this like this. Twenty eight still. Uh, six. Let's 
trying to get all my pieces down, all in a line, place them all well. Someday, today. Oh, we are running out of pieces. Okay, hopefully. Our crafting bench here, though, is charging away on walls. I told them to make 100. Should be quite a lot. 72. We got the weight capacity? Yes, we do. All right. Oop. Six. All right. Yeah, I'm excited to get out and tame stuff, and I really want to do that, but at the same point, it's hard when you don't have your base kind of set up or finished, kind of completed yet. And things are, you know, placed, organized, and well set up. It really makes it a little bit more challenging just to, you know, leave everything and say, okay, I'm going to go out and tame stuff and not worry about the base back, in, you know. Want to get it done, finished. Okay, we're out to this one here. So let's go around the corner here. Whoops, that is not what we wanted. Six, there we go. And this one here. That's it, all right. Almost. But thank you again for coming to check this out. Hopefully we can get some really amazing taming. Uh, I do think this is going to work out okay, though. I mean, it's a pretty good sized space. It's a lot bigger than obviously what we had before. And it should, just with kind of a big slope roof off of it, I think give us kind of what I'm looking for. I'm not worried about security so much of people or anything coming in the front here. Because we already have the wall out front. I just want it to more be an open base. And just be able to enjoy getting in and out of it easy. We do need a lot of ramps, though, to make this work. So we're going to tell our machine here to just craft 100. And then craft another whatever you can craft. Let's see. It looks like we're probably out of stone. So pull. And then we can just go stone. And here's another quite a bunch. There we go. Pull. Done. Next inventory. Ramp. And let's have it build another 78. I don't know if we'll need that many. We're going to need quite a bit, though. So, let's grab what we got. Just 18. Just 18. And let's see what we can go place. We're going to have to use the Quetzal. Ooh, we could actually use the Bronto. I don't know how well the Bronto is going to work. Let's go just take a look at this. So obviously our forge is one of the biggest items. Ooh, sorry. We need to go up a little higher for it, but I'm thinking we'll put it down maybe even on the edge over there. Let's just see what we can do with one of these. Can I place it up? Q, Q. Okay, there's it up. Oh, did you see that? Oh, we can just rotate this Quetzal and push back and forward. Oh, this will actually be much better for uh, placing and crafting with. That's cool. I did not know that was a thing. All right. If it's that easy to move this guy, which it is. So if I push back, I can just rotate. That's neat. This Juggernaut Quetzal is actually much more neat, better than I thought. So can't really rotate it up it can't just ramp see how it can ramp up but that's only if it's inside here for some reason it's not giving me the option to just kind of slope up at a roof so we're gonna have to go with a wall piece uh, not there here now if we can get it back out our gun can I pick that one off no you don't want me to how about now okay now we allow me to ramp Maybe we just need a slope ceiling pieces instead of ramps. I thought ramp might be the trick. All right. Uh, Exit inventory. And cancel. Whew. 
could have crafted a whole bunch too many. Let's try a sloped ceiling piece. Sloped roof. Let's just see what one of these does. Or five of them do. How about that? Let's get a couple. Alright, so this might more be what I'm looking for. Get rid of the gun. The gun is a dangerous item. Five? Okay, get it. mount the quetzal. <laughs> uh, this is a little complicated. Okay, let's. So if I go, Q Q. Let's see how it slopes up. That's what I want. Let's try it six. Let's put another wall here. Now, now we can slope that way. Q. Okay, now if I go five, see that's not bad. I could do a sloped roof piece there. I get a sloped roof or a sloped side piece. That's what we need to do. So let's do that. I wasn't really thinking we were going to do those, but we could do them. All right, sloped, and we need, so this is a sloped stone roof. Where are those pieces? They don't look like they're here. All right, slope. There we go. Right, left, except, except. Okay, we got the S plus ones. We should be good. That's what we really need. Now, I wouldn't mind putting one of these, like, big behemoth gates in there. It'd be kind of fun. We could look at that later, though. That's something easy we can add. Once the whole entire thing's up. Whoops, snapped a screenshot. Alright, now go into here. Now that we have everything learned. Slope. And we're gonna need a fair amount of these. So let's do thinking twenty. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven something. So slope, do 10 of each would give us an okay amount. Let's do 12 just because we're probably going to mess up. 14? Okay, 14. 14 of each. 14. And then sloped roof. We'll make this into the hundred that we want. And it's okay. We're still going to use these down here. Nothing's going to go to waste. We may have made it, and we'll use it. We have, I think these are other ramps we had on us. Yep. No, that's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. The, oh, we could switch them to stairs too. I forgot about that. I really actually like the looks of the stair setups. It looks really good. If you didn't know. Uh, get rid of this. There, pick up. See, look what we can do. We can take this one. We can switch to stairs. See how nice that looks? And we don't need to be worrying about this being, you know, like a PvP server or anything. Oh, we missed one. This is just a PvE server. I kind of like having the one slope there. Reminds me of like a handicap area, you know, just has the little area there for the wheelchair access in case, you know, anyone needs it. Let's do this. Get rid of this gun. There we go. And we'll switch. Th we'll leave that like that. Haha. Uh -huh. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. 
Seven. Throw out a couple more of these. Uh, I think we're lagging a little bit. Somebody must be harvesting. If we need to, we can get even. Oh, usually we're trying to let people know, like, hey, we're harvesting, stuff's going on. You know, just to be very, very informative. Communicate with each other. Helps everyone out a lot. Um, oop, there we go. I'm sure we'll get someone yelling on the chat soon enough now asking people and saying, hey, what are you doing? But if you guys are interested in this mod, we do have, of course, the opportunity for you guys to come play and enjoy it yourselves. So definitely take the opportunity. If you're interested, let us know. We have the availability for 50 people on here. So once the lag slows down here a little bit, you can come check it out. <laughs> Uh, harvesting is real. Are we working? Maybe. Maybe not. Uh oh, this is too long. I think we're getting kicked out, unfortunately. Oh, I never know what's going to happen. I'm not sure why we would be getting kicked out, but I mean, already I'm kind of, oop, that was, we now working? Yeah, there we go. All right, let's grab these. Let's put back these walls and this and that and that. Let's just put all that back. All right, one of those, one of those, and then let's type in our slope just so we make sure we got the right item. All right, now this is where the fun part comes in. It's about checking to make sure you have the right piece for the right side and getting it correct to start your slope. There we go. Now you're kind of in my way, but I could also use you to my advantage. Hello? There we go. All right, so we'll get some other walls, and we'll just keep pushing this up. I think it's going to be tall enough, and it'll be really neat. It could be horrible, too. I know, it could be horrible, but I think it will be okay, and we'll like it. I think. I've never tried this before, so it's just an experiment to see how it'll work. It's going to be tall. It'll be very tall by the time we get down to the end. Okay, now if we just grab our side pieces, five, 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 you can do it, just snap right there, I don't know why you don't want to snap right there, uh, I'm confused. Why does it not want to snap up there? Just all the height? Or we're lagging? I think it's just because we're lagging. Because we placed one before. We're getting the starts. So we'll be able to go up one high there. And keep going. This is going to be fun. It'll definitely be very different from what I've built before. Alright. Looks like maybe the lag's done now. You gonna place there? There you go. There it was. There we go. So we're actually gonna go up five high here. We'll stay four high there. That won't be too bad because we've already started. Now can we go six? Get us in this piece. Yep. I go nine. I can't tell where that's placing. That should be our slope piece. No, it's not. Seven is our slope piece. Come on. Q. Like that. Okay. So that that's, gives you an idea of what it'll look like. Let's.
replace these now. Get rid of six. Five. There we go. Five. Still not liking that place for some reason. I swear there is one there. It's just almost like it's not visible. Alright. Quetzal. Gotta build up a little higher. Can you help me? Yes. Let's do it. Thank you guys again for coming out. Let's see. I do see some chat here. For some reason, my chat. No more Roke? Oh, no. We're Obviously, we're doing Roke. I mean, we're definitely always going to have Roke, but this is just something else that we've been doing, and I really enjoy this game. I've been playing it for a really long time, and it's just something that, you know, it's a little bit of a change of a pace and something that we're doing also. So, it's not that I'm not playing Roke, it's just that I have a few different things that I'm playing and enjoying at the same time. So I hope you know that that's the case. I mean, we're definitely not stopping Roke. I mean, we're definitely not stopping Roke. We want to play Roke. Roke is fun. It's enjoyable. It will be back on either tomorrow or we'll start playing it a little bit more later today. You know, we definitely have the options always to play Roke, but just wanted to get on here and play a little bit of Ark. It's just a different type of game. I mean, it's still a survival game, but it's definitely a different feel to it. A lot of other stuff. So, yes, don't worry about Roke or anything else. We'll still play all those. We'll keep up with them. But every now and again, let me like, look at this dinosaur. It's a Quetzal. It's way cool. It's awesome. Why wouldn't you want to come and play with some of those guys? I, the only reason I wouldn't want to play with some of these guys is just because the lag is so bad. I don't know why it's so bad right now at the moment. It's making it a little difficult. Alright. I need to come over here. And we need to see why this piece will not connect. I see it. It looks like there's a double here. So let's grab this piece. Aha! Now I bet you it'll connect. Gotta get rid of the gun. There we go. Now we're back in action. Oh, it's so complicated for like nothing. Alright, nine. Ah, oh, the reach. <laughs> the reach. The unfortunate reach. The failure. Don't fly away. There we go. Alright, this should make it a little easier at some point when we can get back to getting used to this. There we go. It's not the easiest building off a of Quetzal back, but it does help a lot when you cannot reach everything. All right, five. Cool. All right, I think that's mostly what we want on that side. Now, over here. Come on, back up just a little bit. Stop. That little bit of like sliding ghosting. Uh, uh, uh. Right there. Nope. Fill in the spot. I, it doesn't help that I made him really fast. I like fast Quetzals. And this one definitely is just rarely getting to the point where I could call it a fast Quetzal. It's still not the fastest or the kind of where I want it. I mean, it still has quite a few levels that we can put into it. So it's just getting there to the point of where... I can go, yep, that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted the speed exactly like that. Are we out really of walls? No. I do need a few more walls. All right, let's craft here a little bit. Hello, Bubba Chambers. Welcome. How are you doing today? Good to see you. Thanks for coming over to check things out. If you have any questions, or if you haven't, of course, like, subscribe the video. Would appreciate that. You can always, of course, 
hit me up on all the social medias. You can ask anything you'd like to try to get help on ARC. If you have any questions and you're newer, if you're a master at ARC, hey, I wouldn't mind some tips and tricks that you found along the way. So I and any of my viewers can be help also to, you know, just better do everything. There is a lot to this game, and I think you could obviously spend a lifetime on it and still just be making, you know, a lot of progress. It really is an involved game. Let's see. Darn things in the way. I'm trying to build here. All right, let's back up just a little bit here. All right. That should work pretty good. And six. Gamma we might help to darken it just a little bit. Make it a little bit hard, easier to see the wall versus the dark background. Mm, we're going to need a lot more walls, aren't we? Just a lot. Not too many, though. I mean, we're getting pretty close. So what? 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, probably 20. Let's just do 20 more walls. 20 walls. Access. Wall. And let's do 20. There we go. Craft. Hopefully once this is all done, we'll be to the point where we can just slap everything together really quickly. I guess we're out of walls. We're waiting on those. I could throw up some of the side pieces. Uh, it's it's going to be really close there with the uh, industrial forge. We'll probably rotate it, move it a little bit. But overall, I kind of like this design, this kind of open design. It's definitely not one that I'd recommend for a PvP server. But just for one that's a PvE where you're trying just to you know have ease of access... Oh, I'd probably highly recommend it already. It's going to be so nice just to be able to come in and out really easily. Not worry about stuff too much. Come on, place. The reach on a Quetzal when you're placing stuff is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> just place them up so high. Oh, come on. There you go. And one more wall piece there. Come on. Oh, that was it. All right. Now, can we get the next piece up there? Yes. So we really need only a couple more pieces to finish that side off too. And then we're to the roof, which will be super nice. Wow. Did we really use all that? I didn't think we were going to use all those pieces, but it's like we're going to be really close. Ooh, I think we're actually going to need a couple more. Because by the time we go here with this piece, now we need to go one more wall up to that piece. Then we'll need one more wall for the next piece, or two more walls. Yeah. All right. Wall. <sighs> Craft me the 35. Whatever. We'll either use them or we'll figure it all out later. We can cancel it halfway through. There we go, we'll cancel that there. Plenty now. And if we want to do some extra expanding, I mean, this this design actually will make it easy to expand. We can just keep pushing this out the more and more we want, and it'll still keep the same overall idea, but it'll just get that much you know bigger and easier to access. We could also add a loft in here at some point, too, and park flyers up above. Just because we do have so much height out of this, it's actually going to look really cool when we get done. We are actually going to need all the walls for that side. I forgot about that. But, hmm. But what do we got for materials? I didn't even think about this. So, craft all of them. Because it really, it's not that many over there. I mean, it's a few. Don't get me wrong. It is a few, but it's not that many. We're actually probably going to need... I don't think we have our ceiling pieces on us. Slope. 73. Put those in there. I do kind of want to look at the ramps, too. 
just to see if by chance they can go on here for some reason and they do the exact same thing. They seem like they would. I don't know though. All right, seven. Until we get this easier to reach going. Oh no, don't please backwards. Hi. The old, I'm placing and then I placed wrong. I love it. All right, get rid of the gun. All right, this time we're gonna wait. We will confirm our placement before we place. Man, you cannot reach at all, can you, when you're placing these? Okay, there we go. Full back. X to air brake. X to air brake. X. X. Whoop. X to air brake. Whoa. It's like we're we're definitely, I think, lagging a little bit. So I get moving, and then I stop, like, all crazy. All right, there we go. If we just get down a few of these, then we can walk up there, and it'll really <laughs> make life simple. Uh, uh, uh. All right, can we just land? Can we just land up there? Let's we'll grab the Terra, maybe. The Terra is really fast as well. I have a problem with fast Dido's. I really like them. All right, this guy is just not cooperating exactly how I might like. Ooh, we're really close right here. This should help us just get these last few pieces. If you hit Q, you can rotate usually your piece, and it will help you if you're ever in one of these situations where you're just kind of like right there, and it will not place properly. You can hit Q, get it to rotate for you. All right, there we go. That should give us a big enough roof. We can just make a ladder up the side too, which actually thinking about it, you know, just land, just land. This guy just doesn't seem like regular Quetzals where when you push land, he'll just keep flying around. Even if you push the take off button, he'll just keep trying to float around. I think we can land up there with this guy. Oh, he's not that fast. The Quetzal felt faster. Oh, you don't want to land. You don't want to do it either, do you? Okay, okay, okay. Just land over there. Oh, now you do it. One shot, but you're right on the edge. It's like the worst spot possible. Oh, you can back up? Nice. Okay. And right there, because it's going to throw us forward just a little bit. All right, now we can make enough roof. That we can stand on this thing simple and easily. Oh, we're like overhanging off the back there with that piece. Nos. All the way across. Why not? If I just keep looking up just a little bit, it works perfect. And just keeps clamping going onto that piece. Little building. I have no idea if this will be what I want, but I'm thinking it is. Q. Nice. Definitely will be very tall and interesting. I don't think I've... Well, I don't know. I don't know how tall this is, but I don't know if I've ever built... Well, I did build a base before that was, I think, like six on the bottom and then three in the middle and then 12 on the very top. It was really tall. But this definitely is going to be kind of similar. Pretty tall. Not that tall, but pretty tall. Ceiling pieces or the sloped tiles are going to be lasting pretty long. Now, if I switch over to a ramp, what's the difference? It will not place at all. Hmm, interesting. I was just curious to see if it would actually place and if it would work the same way. So I'm glad that we switched over to the sloped roofs 
and figure that out pretty quick because we'd be trying to place those and life would not be the greatest. Q. There we go. We'll just go place this top one too. Q. There we go. Now we continue across. We're going to run out of pieces, of course. Why wouldn't we? Not bad, though. Let's take a look down from below now, see what this looks like, actually. Mm, it's not bad. It's really open. I mean, it definitely, we could always put some type of, you know, a little lip on the front, too, which would be kind of cool, just to kind of co cover down a little bit. But it's given me what I'm looking for, which is kind of a boxed-in shape, but really open on the front. Um, might do a couple just ceilings out straight too. I don't know. I don't know if I like the slope just straight up. Might change it a little bit at a certain point. But we used all the stone. Can we pull any other stone? Oh, we do have a fair amount still sitting around. Pull. And slope. Whoops, slope. We do have six more here, and let's make another, I don't know, I guess, what is it going to take to actually finish this across? Two, one, one, two, three, four, four there, five, six, okay, ten, not that, slope. We already have six. So let's craft. Yeah, I'm just sink another six. Just have a couple extras. And then I'm going to think we want to do just a ceiling. And just craft 46 of those. Because I'm thinking I don't really need to go too much taller. Well, actually, let's... I do want to finish that eventually. I probably won't do that today, though. Because so we're just about done here with this crafting stage. I want to go out and want to do some taming, right? That's the whole point of everything here. We do have these walls. Maybe. I guess we could throw these up. Let's cancel this. Cancel. Let's throw this up. Oh, it's so tall. <laughs> Maybe actually we could just do a section here that's a little smaller and we could just bring it down. Hmm, wouldn't mind doing that actually. Let's play with it just a little bit. Because we don't realistically need this ceiling up so high. So let's just see what we do when we go up there. Alright, seven. That completes that out. And then this one completes out to here. We could do a wall and a ceiling there. And then just connect up from there. Turn that into like his own box. I kind of like that idea. But see what I was saying here? We should be able to take a ceiling. And we could attach it. Oh, we can go backwards on this too. Weird. Can we take a ceiling? And, or a, No, I can't. Now, can I put a ceiling off of that and then put it down? I don't know. I should be able to. Jump off. Oh, these darn drops. Always mess up the view. Garbage. It would be better if I had like a red drop right here. Something that was actually worthwhile to pick up. <laughs> it's pretty big. It is quite big, actually. 
it's funny because with this huge slope, it doesn't give you the idea that this is pretty deep in here. It just looks so big and narrow. Hmm. I think I do like the idea of trying to put like a ceiling up there and then just going up to it instead of sloping. I could slope that ceiling kind of up into this ceiling. Ooh, that's not a bad idea. Ooh, I do kind of like that actually. And do slopes they go in the other opposite direction. Oh, failed. I need to be a little taller. Okay, let's try this again. Put the gun. So we'll need, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 slope ceilings. Slope ceilings. Craft 12 of them. And that will actually kind of cover and cover, you know, make it look pretty good, I think. I like that. I like that idea. All right, let's see if we can just get this to go up here. Like that. And then nine. And then nine. I wonder if that's tall enough. Should we do it a couple taller? Let's do one more taller. We'll do like this. And then like that. And then it'll get us a little closer to that ceiling point to match. Okay, now the slope, six. And a six. And a six. Come on, just a little closer. Just a little closer. There it was. There it was. All right. So that'll be really kind of neat. I hope... I don't know if that will mismatch with the ceiling up there too much or what. We're just going to see how it'll place and how it'll look. I don't know. I don't know quite how that kind of slope into slope will match up. So let's just take a look and see how it goes. Uh, Q. Whoop. I can't see because I'm like down in the grass, but that's the right place. Q. Uh, not attaching. I go around this little thing. All right, now Q. Hmm. That's gonna look a little funny. Mm, I don't know. I kind of would like that to to jive a little bit better, I guess, and just you know, we'll see. Maybe we. I think we can place pieces on top. And then those can go up from it, and we'll make that match a little bit better. We'll see. We will see very soon, I think. Coming back up. So the Tyranodon can back up, but the Quetzal cannot walk backwards. That is weird. Um, <laughs> that was the right one. I might be able to change it with Q. Ah, okay. We're just too close. Well, let's go over to here. There we go. And seven. And seven. We can't really place it further. Let's just try to get underneath of it here now. There we go. Come on, snap. You're right there. Ah. <laughs> Sometimes building... Big buildings is not the easiest on Ark. It's all about just trying to figure it out. You know, there are some mods that have jetpacks and stuff in them, and oh man, they would they would make life so much easier for things like this. It would just not be an issue at all. You could just hover up there. I mean, we could use this Bronto and we could stand on the platform, but at a certain point, you gotta move the Bronto, change its position around a whole bunch. Oh, you don't want to land up there. Oh, it's a big ceiling. It's a pretty good sized ceiling. I don't know why you wouldn't want to land up there. It's an excellent place. It's got a view. Come on. It's got a view. Oh, there you go. All right. We can back him up. There we go. Get in position. Now we can jump off. 
Nice. Now, can we build up right off the top of this? Oh, we can build up there, but why can't I build off the top of this? Hmm. Five? Six? <laughs> that wants to connect to that weirdly enough. I don't know why it would want to. Hmm. It is odd. I just want to build a build and connect off of that piece. And I swear you can do it before, but for some reason just doesn't want to let me do it here. It could be that I've built with ramps before like this, and that's what I've done it with. What if I throw a ramp in right there? That looks kind of weird. It's like halfway in, halfway out. But I wonder if I could build off of that. Do I have a ceiling? Yes, we do have three ceilings. Let's just take a look at these. Three. It will not connect to a slope roof either. Hmm. Oh, it's kind of a shame that you can't connect off of a roof piece and connect and go down to the ground with it. And I swear these are all S+. Let's just, why can I not? I just want to build like that. It's just something simple. Alright, let's just get on our flyer and we'll be done with it, I think. Yeah, I'd love to just connect that down to there. You know what? Maybe the best idea would be... Well, I don't think we can do it. We can't go up further. Seven? I'm just wondering what else could go off of that or snap like this. See how that slopes backwards? That kind of actually it would look a little odd. But at a certain point it might... Hmm. Can we... You can't move it. I'm just trying to... Oh, wait. What about that? Oh, see, that's going to get me my next layer. It's not quite there, but if I could place the next one up at all, that's going to get me a little closer to the roofs matching. Okay, let's try this. I mean, we're just I'm trying to get it. I don't really mind if it's that bad outside. The roofs can kind of look like they're joined together in the corners and stuff. I can put one more piece. It'll look a touch bad outside, but it'll actually be okay, I think. You know, I do love coming up against challenges like this, because they've made mods, they've done so much with Arc, but there still are a lot of complications to building, and it's just not that smooth of a system overall. So I do still enjoy trying to figure out the solutions to the problems, and just trying to make, you know, as much as possible work when, in all honesty, it just doesn't really work a lot of the time because of bad issues <laughs> and just complications between all the different stuff and what it decides is a snap point and what is not a snap point. You know, it just, it makes things a lot more complicated than you would expect. But also, it's got a lot more pieces to it. So, in the same point, eh, you know, I guess I understand. I would like to do another couple higher rows. If this roof could match up to the height of that roof, it'd be great. But I don't think it will because of the slope. Now, if I can do this one here, 7. Q. Oh, come on, rotate. Just... Don't worry about the roof there and poke through it. That's what I really would like. Now, can we do another one? See, that one used that to do it off of. And this one doesn't, won't have anything. 
but that's not bad. That's a little bit better. It at least covers in here a little bit more. I wish there was something that I could do to slope or go off of it. Look, we could do a ramp on there. That's kind of weird. If I do a ramp there, I can do a ramp there. Oh, really? Oh, it just let me do a couple of those. Will you let me do a ramp in there? Yeah. So I'm okay with that. Now, see, we're kind of fixed a thing. Hmm. A ramp? A ramp. See, I can't see where it's connecting to down below me, unfortunately. Q. Q, Q. Oh, I thought we had something there that was going to work. But ramps can't really connect to each other. Now, can I do a sloped? No. Hmm. What about my ceiling tile? Oh. That might be my solution. Because now if I can do a ceiling tile here. Okay, let's do this. I can do a ceiling tile here. And I can delete this one. Okay, this is going to work actually. Here we go. Now I should be able to ceiling tile out. Yep. And then we can go up and connect. Aha! Slowly we're figuring out a solution here. So we need two more ceiling tiles. All because of a piece of ramp. We're going to make this happen. Let's do one more just in case we need an extra. We have some walls on us. We should be able to with this. We could probably actually do this, this the ramp and keep going up even to the ceiling like I wanted to before after you do this row. So all we have on the outside is that one piece kind of sticking through. And I could delete it, I bet. Because it was just an add-on. It'd leave a little square in the corner there. Ooh, is this going to demolish everything? Nope. Nope, nope. Wow, this is cool. Okay, we are going to make this happen, actually. Kind of excited to actually see this work. So, now, with this... We should be able to go wall and wall and wall and then five. Q, Q, Q. All right, we got to go six, which means we are too short of pieces. Oh, I didn't like that. Um, ah, broke it up. Um, what about, yeah, no, I like this. This is, this is the best idea. We got to get more of those pieces. I, so this is sloped right. We need slope lefts. We're going to make this happen. Slope left, slope right, slope left. Let's make an extra. Ooh, why did it put in a different... No, not a slope right. We're supposed to make all slope lefts. Okay, hopefully that'll make it. Transfer, transfer. Okay, I think we'll get this. Oop. No, get rid of that, get rid of that. All right, a little complicated, but we're gonna make it, hopefully. As long as our bird can keep landing here really well also, it helps. So one, two, three, we're going to make it. So six. Oh, yeah. Six. And a piece. And a six. Hold it there for a second. Let it decide. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I kind of like that. I like this mix match. I mean, we have that little spot there, but it's not a big deal at all. And from the outside, 
it worked and it's pretty seamless which is the challenge always to do I'm just wondering now if we go like this Do you see how that other piece angled? It was showing there like it would work. See, that works. We could get rid of some of this so it shows, but I'd rather box that out if I can. Or just delete this roof, actually. Eight. So we didn't actually get the piece in here that I thought we did, which was, should be this piece. Okay, now can I put a, a can I put a ramp on there? No, ramp will go there. Hmm, just wondering how I could possibly tie that in to here, and I don't think I can exactly sideways. Uh, let's go back to five. Q. Five. Q. I, did you see it? it? It wanted to snap like this for a second, like that. That would be excellent if we could get it to do that would be exactly actually what we're looking for. Yeah, like that. Okay, now can we do nine? <gasps> there it is, look at that. We tied it in exactly how I wanted. Oh, nice, look at it. It's got shapes, it's got angles, it's all filled in. It's not sticking out. Oh, it's nice, look at that, seamless. Now I think the last thing to do would be to actually just take it and put a straight kind of catwalk across the front here. But I don't know, I kind of want to keep it open too at the same point. Hmm. We'll probably put a straight roof across. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, people would probably think that our base is not done. If they just understood what complication we had to do just to get that one corner done, they would be pretty happy about it, though. And just trying to land our bird on our little roof beast. <laughs> Hi. You know what I'm thinking? This is what I'm thinking. Yeah, I like that. We could even do a double slope going across the other direction. And I think it'd work. Poor dinosaur, we just abused it. Yeah. I can see the potential. I kind of like it. It's it's definitely unique. Very interesting. I wouldn't mind trying to see if I could get a slow piece in there, but I'm not too worried about it. Just for the fit and finish of everything. It's, it's a lot better than I expected from Ark. So, here is our new space. And it is pretty large. But it's not ginormous, but it took a lot to kind of build it. So, Let's let's take a look at our inventory and get some stuff off of us. Because we don't need it now. 
We got a bunch of gates. We got a whole bunch of stuff. We got air conditioners we need to put down. We got all sorts of things. So we got the boxes. We got a fabricator. And I got an air conditioning unit. Okay. Let's take one of these and just put it over here. This thing is huge, as if you haven't noticed. It is ginormous. Kind of thinking of hanging it outside the building just to save a little space. It should still be accessible and hang halfway out the base. <laughs> I could just put it out. Actually, let's do this. Pick up. You know, this space right here might just fit it perfectly. Perfectly. Look at this, actually. We, like, built a spot for it without even really understanding we built a spot for it. Hmm. It needs to be a little bit bigger. Which we could do. We could do it. Or we can just stick it through the wall like we were doing before and give us a little bit of room out there which I would like even greater like that see that's nice and we can go ahead and just leave it like this because it doesn't really bother anything I like it it may make it a little hard for our taming stuff that's taming up inside of it I don't think it'll cause any issues it could obviously <laughs> alright let's try one more time but let's do it a little closer this time There we go. We got more this way, less sticking through the wall, just a little bit. But I think that's what we're gonna do. Leave it as, just like that. I like it. That's a great little spot for it, actually. It fits pretty much perfectly. So we can say we designed the base around it. I have two because I was playing around with an issue I was having with one. Um, let's take a look real quick. I saw that my friend was on the game a little while ago. He is not on any longer. All right. Well, you know what time it is, guys? It's time to go tame something. And I want to go look for another mantis real quick. I think that's the first priority. Uh, if we cannot find a mantis, I was actually looking at a saber the other day, thinking a saber would be cool. Now, any of these dinos, they're not going to be super dangerous. We can bring them back to base on our Terra. <laughs> If you guys didn't know, the Almighty Terra actually has great carrying capacity and availability for carrying just about anything that is rather large that you wouldn't think a Terra could carry. For instance, look, a Stego. Look, a Stego in Alpha Terra's claws. Alpha Terra is amazing, I know. Now, we cannot pick up, you know, like a Rex. That would just be a little crazy. But we do have... Yes, 5,000 melee per hit. So we can, you know, kill said Rex. So let's go take a look, guys. I do see a fair amount of fog, which kind of stinks. But we'll live with it. We do have the fog remover. The fog remover is a mod that I think works 90% of the time. But some other times it just doesn't work fully. It's kind of weird. If we fly actually closer to the ground, stuff seems to clear up a little bit better. See, here is an exalted saber. This is what we eventually want to do. We want to take a normal saber and turn it into an exalted. See how much damage he's doing? A fair amount. That's why we want one. It's not a ton, but it's still cool. The main thing is with one of those, though, we are going to be a bit picky. We do want a really high level. I mean, also with mantises at this point, we already have one. So we would be a little pickier with one of those as well. Um, I didn't put the stuff that I had on me away, or down, so we will want to be careful of not dying to big dinosaurs like that one. Oh, you see me? Yeah. Let's take a look here. I've seen a number around this area. There's another exalted saber we just passed. I'm flying quickly because I don't want to make sure that the wyvern gets us. There is a giga. We're not quite ready for a Giga yet. Uh, 
yeah, I see you, Wyvern. Let's turn the gamma down. That might be a little bit of a problem, too. Maybe down even more. There we go. I apologize. I'm blinding you guys. Let's fly quickly past this guy. Oh, there's another one. It is a little dangerous out. Oh, there's a couple other ones. Uh, that one's a fast one. It's like buzzing all about. All right. Let's just leave him over there. Rex. Ooh, we're getting under attack. Uh, <laughs> it is not the most fun when stuff sneaks up on you like that. It's like, oh, I'm just minding my own business, and then all of a sudden we're in trouble. We're doing fast scouting now. Ooh, what was that? Oh, it's just, it's just a parasaur. All right, we ditched it. We're okay for the time being. Let's try to take a look. Oh, what was that? Parasaurs. They're kind of yellowish, goldish, <clears throat> kind of similar colors. Oh, I better get a drink of water there. Nothing. Ah, some water. What is that? Oh, I think that's an exalted raptor. That's kind of cool looking. That is kind of another thing that would be neat to get, would be in a raptor. We do need one for taming or changing our guy over our other mantis over Ooh, it's getting dark and foggy all right let's go to the other mountain this one i don't see anything on it usually i can also look on the east mountain and then this other one over here some gray spots. Wow, there's a lot of metal right here. I've never noticed that much. Let's look down here in the valley. Oh, there's a dragon. Ooh. How much, like... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. I just wanted to look at stats. I was like, how much torque board such do those things have? Sheesh. The speed. Whoa. So only 1.3 million Torpor. I don't know what we need to do to tame one of those, though. I think we need to actually be able to kill them as well. And we're a little ways off. Okay, a lot of ways off from that. Uh, it feels dangerous. Fog definitely makes it a bit harder. If you guys are noticing, you see like the glow around stuff? It's definitely like there's an issue with the graphics or something. I don't know what it is. Ooh. I do know there are some of the wyvern types they will target you versus your dino. So you can go squash pretty quick. Oh, there's an exalted mantis. What is this guy here? Exalted Rex. We can't tame Exalted. That's why I'm passing Exalted. We can't tame him. That's an Allosaurus? If it's a really good level, I wouldn't mind trying one for fun. 520. Oh, man. It's not bad. It'd be kind of fun, too. They're pretty fast. They're not, like, super powerful, though. I mean, I'm looking at, you know... A uh, cave runner, kind of like a saber tooth, though, is not super powerful. So it's not always about the most powerful dino, to me at least. It's sometimes just about what you enjoy and what's fun. Uh, well, let's see what you are. There you are, exalted. Hmm. Oh, wait, what was that? What was that? 
Oh, it's a glow in the dark and an exalted scorpion or a mantis there. Hmm. The search continues for the infamous dinos that we want to tame. You know, I am a fair bit picky about levels and such. I mean, if you're going to put in the effort and everything to tame it, you should try to make it as good as possible. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't think that's what we want to tame or what we're looking for. Um, Giga. Let's take a look. This area is really good for stuff. The Allosaurus would be kind of fun. If anyone is reading the chat right now, or if they're in the, here, I do see it looks like there's one person with us. If you are interested in the Allosaurus, let me know. We could try taming it for the fun of it, but I'm just trying to look and see what else we might find. Now, these, these orange things, these are just dodos, and they don't really have the same alpha properties and what they dropped some funky eggs that i think we use for later items but i don't know exactly all the details of what you do with the eggs um, <laughs> there's an exalted raptor again Maybe the raptors and other dinos are... Oh, wait, there's something. Oh, there's our mantis right there. Look, 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 look. That's what we're looking for. Oh, come on. Be an okay level. A 560. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. So, you may be wondering, going, well, why don't I have any tranks on you or anything? Well, Info Kerbal, see you in Rogue. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm definitely going to be jumping back in to do Rogue later on. You know, it's definitely going to be available. So definitely let me know if you're looking for anything in Rogue. But definitely stay tuned. I am excited to get this guy down. As I was saying, I don't have any actual taming stuff with me. Because I want to take him back to base and knock him out with my Therizinosaurus. It will work and make it so we don't have to waste a bunch of Trank or anything like that. So... We'll drop him right over here. There we go. Should have easy opportunity to get to him. Now, the whole thing that we want to do is just knock him out and then steal the actual alpha blood inside of him. So, let's go. I'm excited. It's a good level. Alright. It's going to have quite a bit of torpor, so this will be a bit of a battle. 511,000. Alright, here we go. Of course, soon he is going to be starting to hit us back. Oh, he does not that much damage. Oh, there we go. 2,700. As you can say, wow, where's the damage? Oh, it is going to be a good one. Oh, Torpor's climbing fast. Oh, we got it in the corner, too. Okay, we want to be a little careful. Okay, knockout. Knock out. Knock out. Oh, there we go. We got it. We got it. Okay. Okay, so it looks like it's an upgradable one, too. So here's our Alpha Mantis blood. That's what we want. So now we should be able to kill this guy. And I don't know how long that'll take. If we do this, we can see the little health meter. Oh, it's not going to take too bad. We killed him almost halfway, just knocking him out. So it was a little bit dangerous in the chance of killing him. Amazingly, though, we did a lot more damage to him than I thought he would do to us. All right, there we go. And some organic polymer and everything. Wow, I had a pretty good amount of stuff on him. All right, let's go ahead. What we do is we put this guy in our DNA sequencer with a thousand prime meat. And then we'll be able to tame him this way. It's a little different than you would see in other ways of taming, but it works. So, let's grab any prime meat that we have. I don't see any prime meat. Alright. Get rid of the X, or hatchet. Prime meat. Oof, man, we're actually kind of a little low on prime meat. Alright. Let's just transfer... Whoops. 
Let's get a thousand. Thousand and eight will be fine. Transfer that back. All right. So into the sequencer we go. Transfer meat. Transfer blood. And we start processing. Now when we start processing, it's really small. Here's the trick. Just know what level you're going to get. Zoom in. Oh, it's only at 520. Hmm. So we actually are down a few levels. But we probably... And we won't know until it happens. We could possibly get any sort of gains after it. It'll probably come out somewhere around an 8. Uh, I don't know. Maybe 860, somewhere in there. So if we look at our other one, which is over there, it's only a 676. So it'd be a couple hundred levels gained. That's not too bad. It's not quite as powerful and as great as I kind of wanted, but we'll probably go get some raptor DNA and we'll try converting it to an even bigger, badder, exalted one. That's what I think we'll do. We do have 10 hearts. Hmm, we might need to look around to see where we possibly have more. I don't know if we do or don't. So I'm going to look around while that's processing. See if we have any alpha hearts anywhere. They are one of the parts of the recipe to do it. Oh, there's one. One is good. We could always go out and kill some. Um, there's two. Okay. Looks like we had like six on us. So we are increasing so slowly. Nope, we could type it into alpha. Nope, just some saddles. Uh, this bench, maybe. Alpha. Oh, there's two. Nice. Okay, we're gaining. We're gaining. So transfer these. Now we're up to 20. I can't remember how many we need exactly. How close are you to being done? 52%. All right, still moving. There's another. Any is better than none. None there. Open sesame. Think we just lagged. Yes. Uh, well, let's grab this kibble. This stuff should go in the fridge. That could go in the fridge. Wow, we have a lot of meat. Holy moly's. No alpha hearts. That's disappointing. And here are no alpha hearts either. Okay. And on the Brontos, I'd assume there's none. Uh, we haven't really, you know, gone out and attacked anything with the Brontos. They're for gathering, of course. Nope. Nada. Alright, we're getting close here. Let's see what'll happen. 78%. Let's put this stuff in here so we can keep it good. That kibble doesn't want to go in there. Oh, that's sulfur, actually. That's something different. Hmm. Used to craft distinct kinds of ammunition can be found in the caves. Ah, interesting. I didn't know that was what that was. Well, I'll take it. Uh, let's transfer these items in here. We're going to have to replace the stuff that we had on us. Um, kind of thinking over here. I start want to kind of start using some more space a little differently. Like that forge. I kind of want to rotate it around. Did I hear a mantis go jumping out? No. Okay. Still not done. Oh, now it is done. Uh, oh, <laughs> look at that. That's funny. Okay, so it came out at a 780. Not quite as impressive as I was thinking, but not bad. Whoop. All right, let's take a look. Come over here. Or should we go put you next to the other one? Ah, uh, we'll just look at you here. So 780, not a superb level. So we need 30 alpha hearts to morph this guy. 
starts out with 337,000 hill, uh, 117,000 weight, 408 melee, 167 speed. So that's kind of my idea is just to morph him right away. Him or her, it's a him. And we'll see exactly what goes on with it. Let's just pull it over here. It's not, it's definitely not as high of a level as I expected. This one came out at a 600, I believe. If I remember right, we can look in the log. Mm, where was it? Yes, 600. So we gained 180 levels. That's a pretty good amount. It's not as good as I wanted, like the 1267. <laughs> that was an amazing one. But I don't know. We'll, we'll keep it for now. It's not horrible. All right, let's see. Do we have this thing done with everything inside of it? Look at all the metal. It would be a pain in the butt to move all that. So, I want to rotate the forge eventually. So let's pull with this. Let's go metal. Industrial Forge Alliance 1. Oh, metal ingots. Ah, ha, ha. Let's pull all. No, let's we'll pull all in the forge. Pull. Because that thing's right where we want it. Look, we got a nice gap between the wall. We're great. Now we should be able to pick up all this. Transfer all. Not too heavy. And pick up this. There we go. Now we can readjust it. Because I want it to be nicely laid out. Exactly where I want it. There we go. And let's try not to push it through the back wall. There we go. Perfect. Right into the wall, possibly right at it. All right. Now we can switch this back to electricity, and it's powered. We can switch this to electricity, and it's powered. Everything should be powered and running okay off the generator for now. So it's a success, at least at this point. Well, now we got to decide... Do we go try to find the Alpha Raptor? That's what I'm thinking. I need Alpha Hearts too, though, which is the other ingredient. And I don't, you know, we're, we got to kill Alphas or we need to just hang around some Alphas for a little bit. And when they possibly die by other bigger dinos, then we can collect them just by being around in the area. So... I'm thinking, I really want to morph that guy. So let's go look and see if we can find an Alpha Raptor. They're a little harder to find. I did see some the other day, but that was the other day. As far as I know, we've had a Dino Wipe happen, and all those would be gone. Run, Quetzal, run! We need the prime meat. This guy eats prime meat like crazy, like you see on the left there. See how it says it's just removing? That means he's eating it. And they eat it at an insane rate. So we need to harvest. There's a Rex. We need to harvest it as much as possible. The big red Giga. Dangerous. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. What is this guy down here? Is he an Alpha or an Exalted? Exalted. If I can't tame Exalteds, all we can do is tame Alphas. That kind of looks like an alpha. Could be an exalted. It's hard to tell the difference between them. They're kind of similar in color. Exalted. Really low level, too. I mean, I guess for exalteds, it's not a real low level. It just is a lower level. Let's see. Did you see that down there? Yeah. It just looks like an exalted, probably. Where are you? We just need a raptor. There's an exalted. See, this is what we're going to get when we get done. Is we get one of these cool green ones. And that'll look cool. It'll be fun. Ours hopefully will be the higher, way higher in this level. Hopefully, look, there's another one. 
Sheesh. There's a whole bunch of them down here. And is that another one? Oh my goodness. They are everywhere over here. Just looking to see if we find a raptor. Can't see through the trees, of course. All right, let's go to the other mountains. All around this area is just heavy loaded with this sort of stuff. So anywhere in here we can find it, we just you got to look. If you don't spend the time looking, you'll never find it. Is that another? Okay. All oh, the redwoods might be a good area to look into, actually. Yeah, if we don't see it here, we can go in the redwoods real quick. And see all the other dangerous things over there and on that mountain. Don't want to stop or fly too slow through here with all the bad stuff. Whoa. I didn't think we were low enough for him to bite us, but I was a bit concerned about it. Nonetheless, it would do a lot of damage. I'll take the meat. Thank you. Not finding what I need. Yeah, I'm thinking we're definitely probably going to have to go to the redwoods at this point. We'll take a look up here. I've seen a bunch up in this area. It's just, you never know. You can find them easy or not. Actually, we could go out to the peninsula too. It's a really popular area. The other problem is they just, they're a little bit lower of health and they're not as strong as a lot of other dinos. So they can die a lot of the time and you just won't have the opportunity because of the other higher level dinos. They might not make it. Look, we got someone running around here on his Rex. They're falling though, pretty poorly. <laughs> we'll just say hi real quick. Oh, that's Obadiah. Oh, we got caps lock on. I think he got a Rex or was working on trying to get one yesterday. <laughs> There's another exalted raptor. All right, we're out of the peninsula real quick. I don't think one's going to appear anywhere, which is kind of a bummer. We kind of need one for this conversion to be complete. So what I'm talking about when I talk about the peninsula is way over here on the west coast, right at the south of the snow biome, right where I'm pointing right now. It's kind of this peninsula area, and it's usually pretty darn full of all sorts of stuff. Good to know there's raptors down in here. Gigas. Gotta have a giga everywhere. All right. Here's the peninsula. Um, definitely not much out here today. They did lower the spawns on the server overall because they were a touch crazy and trying to figure out some issues with the actual game crashing a little bit. So I don't know if that affected. Ooh, ooh, that hurt. I thought we could not have any issues, but obviously we are. Okay, yeah, yeah, I see you. Oh, is that an alpha? Ooh, that 
Oh no, it's chasing us. I think that's an Alpha Rex. Uh, it's hard to see. Is that thing still chasing us? Maybe. Maybe not. The life of any good tame stuff will be chasing you. Oh, 540 Alpha Rex. Ooh, we want that. We do. We want that. Two million torpor. Wow. Okay, so this is what we gotta do. We gotta go back to base. We gotta make up some arrows, and then we gotta knock it out. So let's go back to base real quick. We're gonna grab some black arrows. This will definitely be by far the biggest dino that we've tamed. We just gotta get Oh no! Whew. I'm just gonna put it in chat and then that way people kind of know that I've semi sort of claimed it versus you know them just going over and finding it and oh there's a rex on a tame it real quick so we got to get back to base uh oh Obadiah saying a disaster just happened Oh, okay. I was thinking that he wanted to tame it. I was going to say, dang it, I wanted it, but, you know, Obadiah is their friend. Definitely want to give him the opportunity that if he wants to tame something, go for it. All right, that's way too much weight, obviously. I need arrows, stone arrows. Not sure where I have any. Maybe in these storage boxes or on a dyno. We usually pick up a few, but I don't have a lot sitting around, I'd imagine. Here we go. That's plenty, probably. So we need to make black narcotics. This is them right here, so we'll make ten. And then we need to find, I think it's on our Terra. We have a really good crossbow. See that? One arrow or takes one nar black narcotic. 500 narcotics just disappeared. That one arrow. Oh yeah, we have tons here. Now, do I have any extras on here? Black? No. Okay. I did have a crossbow, though. It's really good availability. Hello! It sounds like we got an Obadiah Exus just joining us in here. Hey, what's Not going much? on? I just share with you my oh, disaster. What happened? I was... I didn't know if you needed some help. I was like, just let me know if you need some help. I'll um, run over or something. I, uh, so I tamed up an Alpha Rex. Yeah, right? just saw it. I, that was me on the mountain buzzing you. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. So, tamed up an Alpha Rex, and then I uh, evolved it to an Exalted oh. Rex. But when I, when I tamed it and, and put it in the processor, I got a uh, mutation. Mm -hmm. And then after I leveled it up, it was over level 2. Oh, wow. Yeah, and so I was killing everything. I was taking out exalted gigas like it was the uh -huh. thing to do. No problem. There was nothing. I was doing like 120,000 damage. Wow, was, uh, that's impressive. So then I'm fighting that uh, one of those rock golems. Oh guys. yeah, I've seen a couple of those. They and they don't do that much. And they damage. have really low health, actually. Yeah, and they don't do that much damage. They have low health. They have 90% damage yeah. reduction. Um, and I uh. But then uh, one of those zombie wyverns came and killed me off the back of my oh. rex. 
So, and I was flying back, but the thing is, I think those guys have like a debuff. A lot of the things I'm finding have debuffs that just do like 5% of your. Oh, yeah, that's true. And so I was, I saw my guy was bloody. So I ran up to like get on him and throw the the potion on him that I was in Mm -hmm. his inventory. But I couldn't open his inventory because it was. Oh, no. I haven't, I didn't even feel any lag there for a while. But I mean, I was probably flying around. Oh, it was the, I was like, you're kidding me. It's horrible. That's the worst time for lag ever. Yeah, he was like two thousand level two thousand fifty nine. Wow, like five million health. Yeah, yeah that was I just I just went and grabbed another mantis, and you know it was an okay level. It's like a five forty, and I hoped that you know yeah. I could continue to increase on that. But when I put it in the actual you know chamber, it only was a five twenty right there. So I'm like, oh, I'm like already kind of like getting screwed here. Like I'm not getting anywhere close to that one that I had for a very short amount of time it's like i want that 1267 back like that thing was cool but uh yeah just kind of the story of it all yeah so that was the worst well that was like the best yeah it sounds like it i know (laughs) oh five or uh two thousand yeah you get must have got some crazy buff in there or whatever that's nuts but this whole video has been like that. <laughs> first I tamed the Giga and rolled back, and so I didn't have the mm-hmm. Giga. <laughs> but then I tamed the Rex, and how I lost oh, the Rex. Man. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess if you really you know need a Rex or want a Rex, I mean, you could go tame that 540 no, no, over there. Ahead. Go ahead and tame that one I up. figured I would. I'm probably just gonna end the video here. Go for it and try it. I haven't yeah, tamed anything it. too gnarly or crazy, so I'm just like, well, we'll see how it goes. This will be my first actual thing that I've pretty much shot tranked to tame how much how many arrows do you think it'll take i you know have a great crossbow and it's two million torpor i think i put like mine was a little lower than that i think it was level 480 originally Mm -hmm. or something like that but i think i put like four okay so it it shouldn't be bad yeah and it was with a um 624 percent i think or whatever yeah so it's pretty much the same yeah yours a little higher so maybe it'll take five yeah but I also had a little bit of time after one, so I might have lost. So. Yeah. It doesn't take me. All right. Well, it's all for the experiment and seeing what will happen here. I <laughs> haven't yeah. done it yet, so I was like, well, this will be the first try. I guess if I bring 20 arrows with me, that should be plenty more than enough. Sounds like it. Yeah. So. Was yours pretty easy to shoot off a Quetzal back? Or? Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, I know a lot of other people... I mean, it was kind of like stuck on the side of a mountain or whatever, uh, yeah. but, but still, like, it's, yeah, you can always find a spot for it to, like, stand. and not Yeah, exactly. It. I know a lot of people have been suffering because they've just been trying to, like, land their terrace somewhere to shoot everything and deal with it, and it's been a little more difficult for them. But I think with having the Quetzals we do, it makes it a little bit easier just to be able to stand on the back of the Quetzal yeah. and shoot. Do you have a, do you have a platform I do Quetzal? not. I was just thinking about that going, hmm, you're gonna want to get yeah. one because I I normally prefer just to stand on their back. I like to stand on the saddle and walk around yeah. that way. I feel like it gives me more visibility. I love the but, platform platforms. Um, they're, love. Since they're so big, you actually can't really walk around. Oh, on their back. okay. Like you can't get to like certain spots easily if they're at certain angles. Ah. Like sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. All right, we'll definitely. So platforms probably the way. We'll definitely do that then. Thanks for the top tip there to. Help us knock this thing out. I really want to get this 540 Rex. I was just like looking around for stuff. I'm like, oh, I'm not that worried about it. But if I did find one, I mean, I'm, you know, why wouldn't I? But I just haven't seen any yeah. for a while. Then I saw that one and I'm like, well, heck, we might as well take the opportunity to jump on it if we can. So, yeah, we're going no to try for it. Hopefully it'll go down as easy as most things do. Let's see, metal yeah, and paste. All right, I'm gonna pop out. Just wanted to share that. I'm gonna yeah. record a bit, and then I'm uh. And cool. Then I'm out All here. right, man. Well, we'll see where we're long. All right, I'm not overweight. I was like, oh no, we're gonna be overweight. Nope, not quite. Let's get this. Where's that cementing paste? There it is. Okay, Quetzal. All right, there's our platform. Craft it up. I know it's a little bit of the in-between stuff, but we got to do all this before we can get there. And our arrows are still crafting. 
We do have enough that it should be okay, but I want to plan for misses, anything else. Yeah, it's just wise to plan to have a little bit of extras with you, just in case. I did have all this gasoline to put in here, so we never hopefully have the generator run out of gas. Wouldn't that be nice? All right, now, one last thing I was thinking of. Do we have a pickup tool on us? Yes, I put it on my inventory. All right. I also have these two XP potions. I really like the Quetzal. I wouldn't mind flying him around a lot more. So if we can get it up a bit faster, it would be great. And why are you saying faster? Well, because why wouldn't you want it faster? <laughs> That's the whole point of having a Quetzal, is for it to be fast and wonderful. Oh yeah, this feels good. Alright, it's not quite like super fast, but it should hopefully outrun stuff. That's the main reason why I want it to be pretty dang fast, is because if we run into anything that is going to kill us, we want to be able to try to run away from it as quick as possible. And if we can't, it's going to get ugly really fast. And we don't want to lose this Quetzal. We want to try to have it alive. So we are going to be a little picky in our path, actually. You know what? We're just going to fly up quite high. And then we shouldn't have to worry about anything. Except for that little dino up there. Straight over the snow. It should be like this-ish. This fog is crazy. I'm not sure why it's appearing like this. So if you guys didn't know, I am in Discord chatting with people. You know, it is available. You guys can get in there. We can chat. Uh, you can talk with me. Um, if you don't want to, I mean, obviously you don't have to or anything. Oh, we didn't swap out our saddles too. So we got to find a spot to do that. Let's try to avoid this for any wyverns. We can't really see anything, but so far so good. I'm not sure why everything looks so blurry and fuzzy. I do have an update to my video drivers that just popped up a second ago saying that I need to update it. I don't think it, this would make that happen. Um, if it is, uh, maybe that is, but I still think that we just need to get on here. So let's see here. Rex and Mantis. I'm just updating it. How you stream on YouTube? I stream on YouTube by using OBX or OBS is the actual recording software. There is our Alpha Rex right there. 540 male. It should be quite powerful and quite nice. All right, let's land somewhere and we're going to swap out saddles real quick. Is that another Alpha Rex? Or no, that's going to be an Exalted. Let's take a look, though, just in case. We do want to be careful of it. Yeah, it's an Exalted. And then there's that Exalted Giga, which is very dangerous as well. So we need to be very careful of those guys. Let's go up here and swap saddles. The reason we're going to swap saddles is because it's just easier with a platform to know exactly kind of where the edge is. And where you'll fall off is. So let's put that on there. I'll put this here. And there we go. Now we have this platform, which is awfully nice. I love platforms. All right. See, we can just step off now. We know exactly where we need to go. And hopefully, the server does not lag a bunch. And we'll get it. So we got one black arrow ready. We got more. Ooh, he's kind of in a good spot, actually, right there to stand. Get in here. Go. Oh, we, oh, we did it. We got it. Oh. Oh, I want to shoot, but at the same time, it's getting out of distance. Oh no! Stuff's attacking it, which is bad. Oh! Oh, there we go. Okay, we gotta get over here quick. 
Axe's inventory. Grab the blood off of it. Oh, it can be an upgraded one, too. Let's go. Okay. All right. There we go. Woo. I know. Maybe that doesn't look like it's that exciting, but that's a really bad dinosaur with a lot of other bad dinosaurs in that area. So we just want to get it as quick as possible and get out of there. That's got to be another exalted. All right. Now we just have to get back home, of course, without dying or running into anything too crazy that would kill us. And hopefully we can get something. But yes, YouTube has live service for streaming. And then I use OBS to stream stuff. Um, you can also use OBS to record. The complications come with having a powerful enough computer, a powerful enough video card, all that stuff to make it all work. And also to come out at a pretty good quality. Uh, we're going to fly up here. There we go. Stay away from that stuff. I want to stay away from the bad stuff as much as possible. I haven't tried to outrun anything yet. I don't know. Like If we started going up against one of those guys, it could be really bad for us. I don't know if we're fast enough to outrun it. And I do worry that this thing is just a little too slow to make it happen so that we could survive easy enough. That's just a weird looking rock. I saw it looked like a round kind of like plume of something down there or whatever. And I was just wondering if it was something weird. So hopefully that helps you info, info Kerbal to be able to understand that is what I use and it works well. What is that right there? Oh, that's one of those rock golem things. That's what Obadiah was just talking about saying they killed him was that right there. So we definitely do not want to mess with that. Very dangerous. All right, now... So we used six arrows. I think we didn't miss any. I'm going to try to pull prime meat. I don't think we have any more. Raw prime meat. Not fish meat. Raw prime meat. We just have that in the refrigerator. So we need to go out real quick and get some of that. And then we can hatch this thing. Which I'm excited to see. I really want to see what level we'll get. I, of course, hope for mutations like anyone else. But at this point, you know, we'll take whatever we can get. Now, with this guy, he eats so much prime meat. We want to be able to grab it off of his inventory kind of as things go. So as we attack some dinosaurs, we'll grab the prime. Ooh, we just ditched a whole bunch of flax stuff. Uh, not a big deal. Let's just keep ditching some items here. 200, 100. A 130. I mean, we'll get lots more, especially if we get, you know, this Rex tamed up. We should be able to go attack a lot higher level dinos. So we'll get plethoras of more stuff. So it's not really a big worry of mine, seeing that we lost a couple things. Oh, we just got tons of junk on here. I just want to clear this out a little bit just so it's easier. Oops, I kind of would have liked to have kept all the arrows. We could make more. We can get more really easily. But we're just looking for the prime meat now. This guy is a high level. There we go. Oh, wow. Kind of crashed the server there. So, we got the prime meat. We want to grab it out of his inventory kind of as quick as possible. Put it into our own. At the same time, we don't really want our dino to starve. So, that's a low-level dino. There we go. Oh, that's a Therizinosaurus. I was going to say that would give us a ton, but we want, in the swamp, we want to come over here and find the big dinos. The big Pericerathiums. And those would give us exactly the prime meat that we need. If we can find them. There's one. Pick up the snake too, because he'll have some. Open up the inventory, transfer it out. We won't need a ton, we just need a bit. Kind of stuck here. 
There's one. Grab some more. Say it builds up pretty quick when it's 60 shit of time. Oh, and there's a baby. Baby will give us the most prime meat ever. Watch this, guys. Yep, 359. 418. I think that's all we need. That's 500. We had over 500 to back at base. We will need more later on as time goes on, but for now, let's just try to hit like one more or a couple more just so this guy can get some food on him. Every time I fly around, it just it consumes and eats so much food. It makes it more and more difficult. Any Brontos? There's something. 32. There's another one. There's some more. Alright, let's go hatch a Rex. Oop, there's one. Let's do that one too. Oh, I think we're getting lag every time. I think people are still on. Hmm, yeah. Not sure why. It might just be that overall the internet is just having a crazy time today. It's hard to say. So... Let's hatch this thing though. I'm excited to see. Excited to see what happens. 900. Let's transfer a little bit more. Here we go. And our alpha blood. DNA. Yeah, server a bit jerky for the past two hours. Alright. We're hoping for some magic. Something magical. Okay, here's the truth. 1239 <gasps> we're getting some cool mutation wow I don't know if Obadiah is still on I'd like you to see if he is and we'll tell him hey I'll just send him a text message he's not the best at text messaging but we'll give him a shot at trying <laughs> Unless he's in Discord hanging out. I doubt he is, though. Well, let's just take a look. Mm, nope. Picture. Alright, this thing could be pretty good coming out. I think we're going to get it at least at 1500 or something. It will be it'll be proper good. Let's make the saddle cuz oh we actually we have a Rex saddle. Don't I have a normal Alpha Rex saddle. We're going to have to look around. I think I have a really good Alpha Rex saddle somewhere. Ooh, now it's making me think and go, I have one. I have one. I had one. Rex? Nope. Rex? Nope. I know I have one. It's somewhere. 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 Rex? Nope. Not even a blueprint. Rex? There's that. Yeah, but we don't want that. We want the Alpha Saddle. We have that one. And Dominus and the normal Rex, but those are just blueprints. I'm saying that we actually have a full... I think it's in this other one. I think it's in this one. That's an Indominus. 
there's our Alpha Rex saddle, an immortal. Nice. We already have a saddle for it. It's already upgraded. <gasps> what the? Sheesh. Sixteen ten. Look at that thing. 4,700,817. health, 817. Rx is 2,000,000. It'll be really nice to see what this one's going to turn out as. I'm excited. It's just about done. Oh. <laughs> and off the side of the cliff it goes. All right, well. Saddle. We need a alpha rhino DNA. Cool. So there we go, 1858 Alpha Rex. Wow. That is pretty amazing. Got lucky. That Indominus is way cool. So, pretty dang amazing stats. Pretty much what Obadiah said that he just lost, we pretty much got. Rather amazing. I'm definitely going to get some health potions, though, because if anything happens, we want to have health potions to uh, heal our dino up, of course, which are super important. We will get more along the way, of course, which is easy to do, but for the moment, we just want to have them on us in case something happens. We can just heal them up and be good to go. There we go. We'll have them. Now, what do we do for stats? I don't even know. Let's see what one point of health does. We have, wow, 2.8 million. 3 million, I guess, is a, a good starting point. <laughs> 3 million. Oh, we're slow. 
It'd be nice to have a lot of uh, speed. What are we going to do for hit? Uh, 100? That's not the bite. He's harvesting stuff, I think. Look at that. 27,000. Wow. That puts everything else we have to shame. Big time. Sheesh. Pretty excited. All right. It's kind of sad he didn't harvest this bag, though. I was hoping he'd harvest for at least a little while so we wouldn't have to get down and pick up every bag of goodies. But for now, we'll we'll deal with it. All right. <laughs> Just stepping on stuff, killing it. Get off. We'll go find the bag. I think everyone else seems to be saying that they can level up their dinos rather fast and max them out. So I don't think that will be very hard to do. Especially with his levels and availability. We'll just see the, what will actually happen though as we keep going. I definitely am quite excited though. It's definitely going to be a change of pace for us. Because we haven't had anything. If you see any King Kong and you don't want to tame it, let me know. A King Kong? Yeah, I'm not looking for really a King Kong at this point. I've just barely started. It's like her first real dino. <laughs> Don't need to start getting crazy yet. Alright, movement speed. And some melee. There we go. There we go. We'll make it a Super Rex. It'll just take a little while. But we'll get there. I think we need to find alphas but I don't want to go try to find too dangerous of alphas but I did want to come through here just in case there's any more any you know prime givers we can always use the prime meat to keep us going and happy killing our first few alphas will be great for experience <laughs> so far just one biting everything is Pretty different from what we're used to. Alright, let's cut back through here. We'll head into this other area. Twenty-eight thousand damage. Supposedly we can get this guy to do over a hundred though. And that would be pretty amazing. So I'm not gonna level up anything too much for a little while. Well, let's just put it all in speed here for now. I don't think we'll want to get him too crazy fast. Our stamina is a million, pretty much. Or way high enough, I guess is more what we're saying. Let's look for an alpha. We need to find something something big. Something that could kind of, sort of, even compete with us. It doesn't seem like he's harvesting that much prime meat. It seems like our... Other dinos do just as about as much, but he's still low level. So, hopefully. The movement speed actually is pretty good, though, on him. It's not bad. I'm working on it. I think it'll be okay for now, though. Um, it's really suffering, though, because of the reduction in dinos. We don't get super, super high levels that we used to get. Well, not the super high levels, but the quantity. This area used to just be loaded with stuff. And now, it's definitely a lot safer. A lot more boring. Just a lot... Just a lot of open space. I need dinos in here. Come back here. There we go. We'll jump down and grab the bag. Oh. I figured that usually they only don't harvest the bag when you start getting full of weight. But he's just not harvesting really anything. Hmm. Yeah, everything's on fine. Alright. We need an alpha. That's what we really need. We could... 
go swimming and see what we could get in the ocean for stuff, probably. But I don't know if he would swim very well. He does have a lot of oxygen, actually, though, so maybe actually the ocean would be a great place to level up. Let's go look and just see how he swims. I'm not seeing anything around. He's, oh, he swims really fast, it looks like. Oh, he swims really fast. Okay, this is going to be a thing, actually. We're just going to swim down here real quick. And I know there's lots of Moses down here. We should be able just to go chomp, chomp, chomp. And have ourselves a little Moses party. There's an alpha. I just don't want to get too stuck in the swarm. Because if you get stuck in the swarm, then you're asking for troubles. Because look at the swarm. It's incredibly big. Oh, that's bad. Little eels. Uh oh. Eels are chasing. Uh oh. Where is our Rex? Like, what is it doing? It's kind of a worthless Rex. He's just swimming around, leaving us. Out here to fend for ourselves. What a mean Rex. I think we're free of the electric eel. I guess that's the bad part in the water. I didn't really think about it. Let's get him off the fall and hopefully he'll stand still for a second. Are you on neutral or are you just swimming too fast? Attacking target. Okay. All right. Well, we'll we'll go back to dry land. I guess <laughs> that's not what I expected. I expected us to have a lot easier of a time with just going down there and killing a few things, and not dealing with any electric eels. See any electric eels? I don't see an alpha moza. Uh, it seems like we do so little damage down here. It seems like we do half damage. So let's just go to shore. We'll find dinos. Here's someone's base. Oh, it feels so much slower on land, though. Man, that's brutal. Alright. We're not quite 2,000 yet. Oh, the damage is pretty good but if we can seriously get this twice this much or better that'd be amazing we need big stuff big stuff that we could actually fight and we we'll put up a fight Going to the Redwoods would be an area we could do it, but we don't want to do it too quick either. I mean, he still is killable. He's not, you know, the almighty Rex. He's just a good Rex. Whoa, a little fly in there. Let's go over... Ooh, there's some jellyfish. 
Whoops, step from those. Yeah, the water area has definitely changed since they put in the electric eels and everything. It used to be so much easier to deal with. And now just with everything that's in here, it's a lot crazier of a place to go into and be. There's a red. It's nothing crazy. We're looking for alpha colors. And I want to just use the water like this because obviously we travel the fastest on the water. There's no reason we shouldn't just use the water to zip around in. Makes life easy. That's the best. So we'll just go till we see an alpha. There should be one up here somewhere. Even if we found a depth a plesio or ooh like that. Ooh, yeah, like this. If we find one of these. I'm curious to see what we could do to it, actually. How much health does it even have? Man, it looks like it's gonna be slow chomping. Oh wow. Our damage that we're doing is pretty serious though. Oh yeah, we'll uh, definitely chomp this pretty dang quick. Wow. Way bloody already. All the way down. And done. Wow, it was fast. Now we gotta find, of course, as always, the loot bag. And when you kill a squid, it's not easy to find the loot bag. Well, experience potions and alpha saddle. Diablo. Oh, some goodies. Oh, look at all experience potions. We got 41 levels off of that guy alone. Wow. So yeah, we just need to find another one of those. Ooh, there's prime meat. Let's do the prime meat run. Heck yeah. Thank you, prime meat. There's a base. Swim. Oh, rocks. <laughs> swim, run, swim. This is where Obadiah's base is. My buddy Ken's over here. Ah. Uh, The life of not having a mic and chatting versus chatting. <laughs> Lots of time. We swim insanely fast. Now, I do know there's a lot of stuff over here, but that's not an alpha. I'm pretty sure if it was an alpha, that's an alpha. It should be an alpha. Oh, 
Yeah, Alpha Rex of some type. Come on, tell me what it is. A 600? Oh man, we got the stuff to tame this thing right here. We do. We do, we do, we do, we do. On the back here a little bit. Jump up. Run back here a little bit. Okay, it's running. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, 600 alpha. It's even better. Oh man, we just hit the jackpot. 600 alpha. <laughs> it could even be better than this one. Wow. I think we'll get the XP for it too, even still, since we knocked it out. I think we get the XP for our dinosaur. But a 600 Alpha Rex is amazing. We might want a screenshot, you know? Oh yeah. Come on, keep jumping. Wow, that was a find. That was a find of a lifetime of 600 Alpha Rex. You're definitely not going to see those very long, often. This one had a mutation, and it's a crazy level, but that one definitely, you know, really amazing find. I wonder what those trilobites were. Just figure if we kill them, we might as well pick up all the goodies. I kind of want to attack one of these. It's not doing much damage to us. I don't know how much health it's going to have. Or anything of that sort. Just see all these purple urgents around. I'm just thinking we got to be able to kill one of those things at some point. It's only doing a fair amount of damage to us. Even though it only shows like 600, it seems way more because we have a ton of health. But it's also getting bloody at the same time. it would just say still we'd probably have an easier time with it there we go I think it's gonna be the end of it we got it and we collected all the stuff too 99% sure nice
finally killed our first, I think, Exalted. And we got a bit of stuff for it, which is great. Levels are not bad. Definitely want to do 100%, 50% movement speed. But then I'm thinking... I need to get a lot into melee. I don't know what max level is either, which stinks. I mean, this is still just kind of a beginner dino in some ways, and we can always use health potions. So I'm thinking more into melee is just a good idea. I think we just increased our melee by two times. Oh, 40,000. That isn't bad. That isn't bad. It's not great, but it definitely isn't bad either. Um... Oh, there he is with his Indominus, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> He's looking at me going, uh... Alvarex? Hi again. I wonder just how much damage that Indominus does per hit on stuff. It's definitely a higher tier dino for sure than we are. I just wonder if it's that much more impressive. It had twice the health, so I would assume that it would do probably a lot more. Forty thousand. We're working on it. Our health isn't super low, but I also don't want to just waste potions too. Oh, I see a squid that just showed up. I want to eat the squid. Hundred and seventeen. <laughs> he does a lot of damage. Wow. Hopefully, I don't know what we'll get to, but. Still, we're not making the increases that I was expecting. Our melee might be a bit lower than some other dinos. We'll have to see what some other Rexes do. It's not bad, but... I mean, you know, eventually we just need even higher, bigger, badder stuff. But for now, it's definitely not bad at all. Well, let's do it. We could just get it to stay still. I bet you we could do this a lot faster and easier. Hmm. 
Is that urgent? Oh, I was going to say, did it just leave us alone? It's going to leave and not come back? I wonder if I can get it stuck here by the rock. Yep, that's what I was kind of looking for. Oh, don't get stuck behind me. Now you're playing me. Or smart, however you want to look at it. Come on. Couple more bites. Well, this one definitely a little rougher than the other one. We're doing way more damage now. An all exalted 560 Argent. We well, got the bag and everything, but I still want the food. I need to eat. Five sixty Argent. Hmm. Not very much in the way of levels. <laughs> Not much at all. Ah, uh, it still seems like health could definitely use a boost. Uh, it's hard to say. You can either use health potions and boost up health, or you just keep doing more damage. Definitely hard to say. Nineteen seventy, not bad. If we can gain another thirty levels, oh, we're still just not going to get up to the point of doing a ton of damage. But it's pretty dang good for everything we were at. What we really need to do is find a mammoth and get that and keep leveling it up further. Then this thing can really get crazy. So I think that's what we need to do is find Alpha Mammoth. Shouldn't be that hard to find. I'm just talking to my wife there a little bit. She's walking outside. I'm like, what's going on? It sounded like it was really windy outside. She said there's like a hurricane out there. I don't think it's a hurricane, but it sounds and looks really windy out there. We are stuck in goo. Come on. Go away, goo. We must be lagging. It's the only reason why this goo would last this long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we're getting kicked. I hope not. The biggest problem with getting kicked is we could go back to when we were attacking the Argent. And when we were attacking the Argent, it would be not very fun to uh, to be dead. So, overall though, guys, I think I'm going to end the stream here for today because we are getting kicked from this. Oh, it is sad, you know. I just had this really great wreck. I was thinking maybe we'd go look for another DNA and we'd keep going. Thank you, James Braun. I definitely understand. It's like, oh, hopefully we'll be fine. I don't know if we'll step back into when we're fighting that Argent and the Argent will kill us or if we'll just come back right here. It's hard to know sometimes what might happen. So until then, though, I appreciate everyone that came and looked at the stream today. You know, let me know if you guys have any questions about the ACA Redemption mod. I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys be, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for coming to watch, though. 
and check out the base build, Taming of a New Mantis, Taming of a New Alpha Rex, grabbing another 600 Alpha Rex's DNA, which we'll see if we have it when we come back or not. Oh, it, it's sad because we got some great things here, so we'll just have to see. The server's been running a little wonky ever since the last few patches, updates, things just seem to be not going well for it. So thank you guys again. Just like, subscribe, and share. I would appreciate all that, just so you guys can keep up to date on Ark, Roke, Little Paladins, and every now and again I do play some players on the Battlegrounds with some friends, so plan to do that soon. You guys, have a great evening.